Hello YouTube, this is Adam with you here. I'm uh, gonna make a shelter today. I've been searching around for uh, some videos on YouTube on how to make a shelter in the wilderness and uh, I'm quite disappointed I must say. So I'm gonna make one myself. I hope you guys enjoy. I actually uh, love the outdoors and the wildlife myself and was looking uh, for some tip videos today. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna give some general tips. Um, I'm gonna set it up 100% natural. I've seen so many videos today where people are using ropes and strings and uh, setting up really complicated things or using uh, tarps and uh, tent kind of covers and things like that. Now, I'll, I'm gonna try and make a video for a survival situation. Obviously, you're not always gonna have rope with you or a tarp or anything like that. So I'm actually going to use no materials whatsoever. I'm not gonna use a knife, an ax, uh, some people live in, in tropical uh, places where they can use vines and things like that for rope. I live in uh, Canada and up north here in the Boreal Forest, we don't have that kind of thing. I mean, I could dig up roots and try and use tree roots for uh, wire, but as you can see, there's still snow on the ground. The ground's frozen solid, so I'm not going to be able to use anything for rope. I'm, I'm not going to use any knife or axe or anything like that. I saw one video of a guy uh, making a natural shelter and uh, he busts out an axe and he's like chopping down trees and stuff like that. I'm not making a cabin here or anything like that. This is going to be an improvised shelter for uh, an emergency situation. Um, so I'm going to try and share that with you guys. I want to do a time lapse of me making it so you can see it happening uh, quickly and uh, hopefully it's well. I've never actually made a shelter before using no other materials and uh, never really taken a, a large amount of time. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what you want to do if you're making a shelter. You're going to want the opening facing east because most of the time, at least in this part of the world, uh, the weather, uh, the wind and stuff like that goes from the west to the east and today it is, is doing the same thing. Although it's not very windy in here, anyway, you're going to want it to the east so that you don't have wind hitting you. Also, I'm, I'm going to give myself one hour to set it up, no more, and uh, it's kind of like a race before sunset. As you can see, it's kind of getting dark out. The sun is starting to set. Uh, you should know the longest day of the year is June 21st, and the shortest day of the year is December 21st. And of course, if, if you're going towards June 21st, on average, the days go longer by about two minutes a day and if you're getting away from June 21st they get shorter by about two minutes a day. So if you roughly remember the time the sun set a few previous days to perhaps a, an emergency situation you can kind of gauge when it will set again from there. So I'm gonna try this hopefully it works out well I've never done this before um, I'm gonna try and make more more videos like this in the future too. surviving techniques um, how to make fires and things like that. I'm not going to do that today in this video, but I hope to make more videos throughout the summer. I mean, this is just March now, and I'm just getting into this season for hiking again and uh, going out in the woods and stuff like that. So if any of you have any questions or want to see a specific video on how to make a fire or uh, how to get a sense of direction or things like that, uh, just feel free to send me a message and I'll try and do that for you. So I'm going to put it on time lapse now and I'm going to try and set up the shelter. Oh, I also want to mention you can find many different tips and tutorials on um, A shelters, uh, tripod or TP shelters, uh, lean to shelters. All of them are more or less the exact same thing. You're going to have a, a big piece of wood and you're going to be leaning a whole bunch of other pieces of wood against that wood. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put um, like leaves and scruff and things like that covering the wood to protect you from wind and rain and the elements basically. You're also going to want to put a layer on the on the ground floor to just give you that barrier between the earth and you because the earth will suck the heat out of you as well as softer. So I'm going to put leaves down and things like that. Pine needles, they're very uh, insulating and things like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing here and I'm going to try and make it um, completely improvised. I found this location here. This is completely natural, not set up. I just happened to walk across it a nice, a nice uh, piece of wood up against this tree. So that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to try and make a shelter using that. Okay.
Alright guys, my shelter is complete. It's been about an hour. I'm not exactly too sure, uh, but I'm going to stop it here anyway. And uh, as you can see, I've kind of set up a nice base here. I've noticed there's some snow on the ground, so I've set up a base of um, some trees here and some sticks underneath and then some um, pine needles on top. This is actually quite warm and quite comfy. Uh, you should know, in case anyone's worried out there, I am environmentally conscious. All of this stuff I've foraged today is 100% dead wood, dead trees, was on the ground. Uh, none of this stuff I've taken from a live, live plant, so it's all good. If you've noticed here, uh, I've done just one side of the shelter. If I come around the side over here, you can see from this angle, it's pretty good. First I started by just lining sticks like that across this fallen piece of wood and then uh, I've tried to weave in and out some uh, some pine needles. The tighter you get it, the better it is. So you really want to just weave it in and out there. Um, I didn't do too great a job. As you can see, if you get really close in, there are some holes. If it did rain, I would get wet. Maybe not soaked and it would provide me some cover, but it's definitely not 100% waterproof. This could be waterproof, but I would have to add more or weave it tighter. If you come over here, I've also added a little bit on this side as well for head protection here, so that when I get in it from this side over here, my head's gonna be covered a little bit over here as well. So it's quite small. You can do both sides. If I did both sides and left the opening at the end here or an opening at the bottom here, you could crawl into it. It would be a very windproof, very uh, insulating. But uh, with this, if I were in a survival situation and I only had time to do this and not both sides, I would put a fire right here. So I would have a bonfire going. The fire would definitely keep me warm and the shelter would keep me insulated. I would probably take off either my sweater or my coat use it as a pillow. The rest of this is good enough to lie down on as part of a bed. You'll notice there's a log in here, so uh, it's kind of optional. I could put my head at this end and put uh, my, my sweater or something here as a pillow and lie this way, but I think it makes more sense to kind of just put your head here and curl on into it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, camera back on the tripod and then you can see me curl up into it. Okay. So, as you can see, it, it's pretty covering. This is actually completely over me. The edge of the shelter is right here, so that's like two feet over top of me. Uh, just lying in here for a few seconds, I already feel the warmth, the shelter from the wind. I'm not being hit by anything right now. As you can see, I used my coat as an example there for the pillow. You don't have to. You can use pine needles if you get cold. Of course, I would have a fire in this situation as well. So, I would be relying on the fire for heat and I'd, and I'd stockpile uh, wood ahead of time. So there it is, and I hope you guys enjoyed.